Dear students, in this unit we will talk about the biological species concept which emphasize reproductive isolation. Now first of all we should know what is a species. What is the definition of a species? Species is actually a population of similar organisms which have the potential to interbreed in order to produce viable fertile offsprings. Now According to this concept, a species' integrity is maintained by interbreeding within the species as well as by reproductive barriers between organisms in different species. That means that in nature, reproductive isolation has enabled biological species to remain intact. It acts as a barrier in order to stop the mixing of different species. For example, in habitat isolation, what happens that even though some species they live together or live closely, because of the difference of their habitat, even if they live in the same ecosystem, but even if the change of the habitats, it makes it difficult for them to breed. For example, some species they live on the trees while some they live in the water. Although they live in the same ecosystem, but there are highly unlikely chances that they could mate with each other. Similarly, we have temporal isolation in which these species are checked by the different timetables, their different seasons, their different sexual cycles. These all are the barriers which act as temporal isolation and stop them from mixing with each other. In behavioral isolations, there are certain courtship rituals that attract mates and some behaviors which are unique to species. They affect, they act as a reproductive barriers. Even closely related species, because of different rituals, you might have seen some birds, they are performing different songs, their voice, their singing pattern that act as a behavioral challenge to the countermate and it stop the interspecies mating. Now, in mechanical isolation, there are some morphological differences between two species which prevent its mixing. In gametic isolations, what happens that the sperm of one species, it may not survive in the female reproductive part of the other species. It could only survive in the female reproductive part of the same species. So these gametic isolation, it also stops from the mixing of different species. Now reduced hybrid viabilities that even somehow these gamete sperms and egg they cross, they fuse with each other and makes gametes, somehow their genes, they interrupt with each other's performance and they stops the synthesis or production of a hybrid species. It helps them in the intact of different species. As in the chart, you can see that all these isolations, these help as different reproductive isolations and it stops the mixing of two different species.